What's going on, nerd troopers and geek viewers of the world? Mr. Dark Phoenix is back with my holy trinity to bring you guys some of the comics day. My weekly show where I give you guys comic book previous opinions and wacky theories. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, guys, please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow, we got Teen Wolf, we got the Netflix family, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, The Defenders, my weekly show today where I give you guys previews and opinions and hot button comic book news. So hit subscribe for all that awesome nerdy content in one great big channel. Me! Let's jump right on into this. They say that the first Batfleck solo movie is going to be Arkham Asylum. It's going to be influenced by Arkham Asylum. It's not going to be the Arkham Asylum game. It could be, but they're saying it isn't. So let's jump on into what that means and what that could be and what that should be. So, if you guys have ever seen a movie called The Raid, it is this Asian film. I'm not sure which. I'm not going to say to piss people off. I'm just going to say Asian. It's an Asian film where basically these soldiers are in a prison and they fight their way up from the bottom to the top. Lots of stuff happens in their way. They get sidetracked, people get hurt, and stuff like that. So, we all know Arkham Asylum is the home of crazy psychopaths and all that stuff, and Batman's main role gallery. This Batman is older. He has apparently captured most, if not all, of his rogues gallery. I call crap. But whatever, if it works for the movie, they're all going to get released anyway, so it's fine. Then we'll start the Batfleck movie universe as a whole again. But, let's talk about Batman, Batfleck, the Raid Arkham movie now. High action, high story, we just got word of Deathstroke coming, so whether or not it's Joker and Deathstroke working together, working together, or they're hiring the other to betray the other, remains to be seen. But we know Joker's going to be a really big player in this. He broke out Harley at the end of Suicide Squad, so she's going to be a big player, uh, player in that too. Joker and Harley, Arkham Invasion, Joker's a big player in that. Deathstroke's a big player in that. Batman's already screwed, right? Wrong, because he's got his entire Rose Gallery. I mean, they could throw in everybody. Zazz. <laughs> they should throw in Calendar Man. Calendar Man should be the only person that, that didn't escape because he doesn't want to. But seriously, we got Bane, we got Poison Ivy, we've got Black Mask, the Penguin Two Face. Pretty much everybody that Batman's ever locked up is going to be in this movie. And. We got, and we also have the crazy ass inmates. So just imagine Batman fighting regular people, and then going into a boss fight with like Bane or some shit. And Bane's like ready for round two. Why did Bane sound Russian? <laughs> anyway, so then he's got to do. So he's got to deal with him. Boom, already tired. This movie is gonna be like Batman's breaking point physically because it's gonna be like, he's gonna be fighting the villains and Deathstroke and the Joker and inmates, and still trying to save the day from everybody else inside the asylum. So, Batman needs help. Batman needs all the help he can get at all costs. So, I recommend a lot of characters, actually, depending on the universe. Pretty sure the death of Robin already happened, so Nightwing should be established, so he can come help. That's Nightwing. I would love to see Asriel live action in the movies. They already did him good on the show. I would love to see Asriel on the show with his two blades killing people for Batman's sake and Batman's like, no, stop it. And he's like, no, I won't. I'm Asriel. Her. And he just starts sorting the hell out of people. And then he goes and then Catwoman shows up because she's like, oh, I wanted to steal some stuff, but I guess I'll help you. And then boom, that happens. Nightwing shows up. Dick, you get out of here. No. I'm not, I'm gonna help you. And then they help. And then we leave off into a final showdown with Batman and the Joker. I really need to see Jared just be completely batshit crazy. We haven't seen them go at it yet. So this will be our first hint at going at this. Now, don't get me wrong, this movie, this movie needs to be three hours. <laughs> There is no other way that this movie can work unless it's three hours because, like I said, we've already got Batman fighting inmates and villains and Deathstroke and the Joker and Harley. Like, this movie has got to be three hours. They have got to make this, like, high action, high octane detective skills, great movie, all that stuff. I am slowly having a nerdgasm as I am saying this to you, but what do you guys think? I didn't forget the Suicide Squad, by the way, but that's going to be another video. I can't pile them into this. Can I? Can I? Should I? 
Hmm, Batman solo moving. Talking about the Suicide Squad. You know what, I'll do it. Just for you guys. Suicide Squad could be in this movie one of two different ways. That, again, which is why it needs to be three hours. The Suicide Squad could be in this movie because of two ways. One, because they're trying to get Harley back and because they want something from Arkham Asylum. Just like Assault on Arkham, this could be a live action Assault on Arkham movie, but the rogues come in, the Suicide Squad is bopping people, bop, 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 bop. They're killing people, doing whatever they gotta do. And then that lightens the load on Batman a little bit too, because now the Suicide Squad's stuck at Arkham Asylum and they gotta get out, because they're like, okay. Um, can we leave now? And like Deadshot is like, I don't like being I don't like being here in Gotham. Croc is like, where's my house? And all that good stuff, but I think it'd be real I think this movie would be a really whew. This would be your best foot forward. Seriously. Your best foot forward in the DCEU under Jeff Johns and Ben Affleck is helping and they're writing and doing the script and all that and everything like that and I would love to see this kind of movie but what do you guys want to see from my Batman Arkham Solo movie please comment down below let me know we just got Deathstroke so he's gonna kick everybody ass it's gonna be great but thank you guys so much for being in this video I really love and appreciate all of you don't forget to follow me on Twitch I play games on there it's twitch.tv slash Phoenix. my link is in the description bar below also don't forget to follow my really good friend I'm Boston Tom on Twitch it is twitch.tv slash I'm Boston Tom all one word he's amazing he's supportive he's awesome he's on teens he was on teens react that's the Tom it is it's Tom from teens react now adults react and I think youtubers react he reacts to stuff Let's just leave it at that. But don't forget to give him a follow, show him some love. He supports me every way that I that he can, so I want to support him every way that I can. But don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, share their awesome nerdy friends, and always remember, have the good times and bad times by Mickey Gout. And enjoy your lives. I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. Hey guys, thank you always for checking out the end of the video. I really appreciate your help. Uh, if anything, if you can, I have a Patreon website. It is in the description bar below. If you guys don't know, Patreon is a site where you could help creators like me do a lot more with help from pledging and being my Patreon. It's a dollar to thirty dollars. Anything you can give would be amazing. I, if anything, I always appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments, and all that good stuff. But right. if anything, Patreon's got me a little bit more. Mr. Dark Phoenix. Then it, then it'll it'll be in the description bar below. And